Good morning, students. So, welcome to OJT webinar on Cookery NC2. Class, this is just a um, short recap on your first year way back um, 2018 or 20, 2017. So, I hope that this um, recap would help you to establish your learnings on cookery assessment. So, I believe that every, uh, most of you undergone the cookery assessment. But still, we need to um, refresh our knowledge on the topic about cooking. So we all believe that as a student and uh, part of our learning is cooking. So, um, in cooking, we need to cook with love. So, in this webinar, we will uh, learn the process of the cookery and C2 assessment. So, I hope that you will lend me your ears. Learn, again, the, um, the process of cookery and C2. So, let's start. Introduction. So, this lesson deals with the skills and knowledge that involve cleaning, sanitizing, food preparation, and garnishing. For our learning outcome, so discussed culinary background, clean, sanitize, and prepared food with garnish for cookery and C2 assessment. So to the candidates who uh, already passed the uh, national certificate in cookery, I know that um, you know a lot of things in cookery. But I hope that, again, you will lend me your ears so that um, you will understand the process on the cookery and C2 assessment. Sanitize, uh, sanitation and hygiene. So sanitation and personal hygiene are important for keeping food safety. So I believe as a student, kabalo na mo, that it is really important to, um, to learn how to sanitize and um, do the uh, proper hygiene. So as a student, we um, take a bath first, diba? Before tamo go mo ato sa eskulahan, maligo gita. Um, but now, uh, due to uh, pandemic, um, dili nata kadung sa eskulahan. But still, we need to um take a bath uh, before going to sleep. Again, we need to um to clean ourselves. And what else? Unsa pa ila in ana? So when we eat, still we need to wash our hands and after eating still we need to clean our hands. That is very basic. So keep your body properly cleaned. Um, that is very uh, fundamental in our um, assessment. So cleanliness is the most important and sanitation. Cookery NC2 Culinary Arts. So, culinary profession. Culinary art is the art of preparing and cooking food. And the uh, word culinary is defined as um, something related to or connected with cooking. So, a, a culinarian is a person working in the culinary arts. So, a culinarian working in restaurant is commonly known as a cook, di ba? Wag gitawag ang mga uh, magmangluto o cook or a chef. Culinary artists are responsible for skillfully preparing meal that are as pleasing to be to the palate as to the eye, di ba? So, I eat first. So, they are required to have a knowledge of the science of food and an understanding of diet and nutrition. So, they work primarily in restaurants, um, dealers, hospitals, and other institutions. So, um, as a student, um, uh, we are guiding you to become a professional, not just in a manager in a hotel, but uh, also a chef, diba? That's why we undergo um, national certificate for cookery. Chef. A chef is a person who cooks professionally for other people. Traditionally, it refers to a highly skilled professional cook who is proficient in all aspects of food preparation. So, 
Um, the word chef is adapted and from the term chef de cuisine, the director or head in the kitchens. The title chef in the culinary professions originated in the haute cuisine of the 19th century. So today it is often used to refer to any professional who cooks. So regardless of any rank, though it is most classically defined in the kitchen, it refers to the head chef or ang pinakataas nga ranggo sa kusina. Okay, so what food are most likely to be contaminated? So we all know that as a hospitality student or as a hotelier, especially um, those who handling food, so raw meat and poultry are very uh, most likely to be contaminated. So we need to be careful in handling uh, those raw meat. So we need to uh, frozen the meat and poultry to the freezer. So dili gyud na siya pwede sa um sa chili raw eggs. So in also when we cook eggs, we should be careful that it is not dubok, di ba? So, and also we have the unpasteurized milk. So dali ra gyud madaot ang gatas. The raw shellfish um, like, for example, what are the raw shellfish? Like, um, mga saang, di ba? Dal dali na siya. Once na mamatay na siya, di ba? Dali na siya mabaho. So, those are the raw shellfish example. Um, the end wash raw fruit and vegetables. So, uh, we should be very careful in handling um, raw fruits and vegetables. Uh, uh, we are all familiar with... Um, insects or the bacteria coming from raw fruits and vegetable and also the last one the unpasteurized fruit juices so it is really um easy to be contaminated so in handling those food we should be um take extra care for those uh, mentioned and um it would it would not uh, if take effect immediately once you are poisoned or you are being contaminated uh, you eat contaminated food um, it would not uh, it will not affect um, easily so um, it would take um, hours or a day after consumption so you would um, uh, experience symptoms like uh, mild to severe um, or requiring hospitalization diba? like for example you experience um, um, vomiting magsuka ka diarrhea diba Magunsa ka ana, mag maglain in pamati, maglipung ka di ba? Once you are being contaminated, uh, you are prone to um, vomiting and diarrhea. So it take um, hospitalization. Contaminated equipment is um, another major cause of foodborne disease outbreak. Um, food contact surface is the surface of equipment and utensil with which food normally comes into contact and those surface from which food may drain, drip, splash back onto surface normally in contact with food. Washing equipment and utensils until visibly clean does not complete the process and thermometer and test kit are required. So, um, it's not enough to clean the raw meat, poultry, clean the vegetable or fruit. Um, what matter most is we need to um, clean utensils and equipment, no? So, um, before utilizing those things, even though it is clean, uh, we still need to uh, wash it again and sanitize before using. So, it is before and after using it. So, and also we need to um, use thermometers, test kit in... Uh, to, to meet, for example, the boiling point of the, um, for example, the meat that we are utilizing, we need to um, check the thermometer if it reached the uh, minimum and the maximum limitation. So, sanitation step must also be completed. So, proper sanitation is one of the most important steps in the wear washing cycle. No rinsing or any other uh, cleaning process should take place after sanitizing. And equipment and utensil must be 
air dried only. So again, after washing and sanitizing, it should be air dried. So dapat ato gida siyang pauhon. And sanitation procedure is an extra process. Swabbing it be utilized when the sanita uh, sanitizing solution is twice the strength required. So perform mist in plus. Perform uh, presented and stored the following. So um, in cooking the following. In culinary arts, so or culinary uh, cookery assessment, um, first we need to apply the mist in plus or putting into place. And bear in mind that in cookery assessment, diba kabalo naman ta, that the protein, the vegetable, and starch um, should be um, uh, presented together sa so, usaka plato na anaad to ang um, the the meat the vegetable and the starch um, with the canopies it could be um, served in a bite size which is um, three to five serving or pieces and sandwich well we have the open face and the contemporary for appetizer we have this um, hot and cold for soup, diba, we are all familiar with the thick soup and the clear soup. For salad, we have the non-leafy and leafy. And also the salad dressing, the vinaigrette or the olive oil. Again, the entry and lastly, the dessert. So on the dessert, we have the hot or cold dessert. So, prepared egg dishes. So, learn how to cook eggs. So, why do we need to learn? It is not part of the uh, matrix, di ba? Ang, ang itlog, wala man ito naka-mention. We just have the canopy, sandwich, and etc. But, um, in cooker assessment, egg has a vital um, importance in cookery so egg can be used in sandwich it can be used in canopy it can be used in in um, dessert diba or hot dessert and what else in the appetizer and etc so egg is very important in cookery assessment so the hundred siyang purpose so we need to learn the um basic Cooking eggs. Prepared stock, sauces, and soups. The stock. So, a stock is a very flavored liquid that is made by gently cooking bones and other ingredients such as um, vegetable, diba? In a liquid. This extract flavor, aroma, the body, the color, and nutrients. So, and also... A stock, we have the white stock and the brown stock. So, white stock is a clear, pale liquid made by simmering poultry bones. So, what are the poultry bones? So, mo siya itong mga gitawag na ito mga chicken. What else? The peacock. What else? The duck. So, those are poultry bones. The brown stock is an amber-colored liquid made by browning and then simmering beef, veal, and game bone. So, it is very clear that brown stock um, consists of um, beef, diba? Those are a brown-colored liquid. And also, stock has parts. Uh, the major par, uh, part is the flavoring ingredient, which usually consists of bones and trimmings from meat, poultry, fish, so mga um, bones nila. Next is the liquid, di ba? Um, liquid is very vital. Uh, liquid is, us uh, is usually water, but may also include a wine. And also a vinegar or even a bullion. And the last part is the mirepoix. What is mirepoix? Are you familiar with mirepoix? Diba? Mirepoix is consist of um, 
50% of the onions. Um, it consists of carrots. And also, it consists of celery. But here in, uh, di ba sa tua, celery, we use the um, scallion. What is scallion in Bisaya? Di ba sibuyas dahunan? Soup. Clear soup includes stock, broth, and consumes. A broth is made from water, vegetables, or meat, the mirepo, and the bangke garni. A good broth should be pale with a distinct flavor for a major ingredient. There are two categories of soup. Again, we have the clear and the thick soup. So, in, uh, in making soup, the most um the most delicious soup that I have ever tasted is the uh, it, a soup that is made by a stock. Oh, di ba lamig yun na siya kaayo gigan sa mga kabukugan sa mga meat and poultry and also fish. So the ingredients of soup, we still have the meat. Uh, under meat we have the chicken, beef, pork, lamb, fish. Um, also, diba, we need the salt, the pepper, um, the vegetables that being used in soup, the onions, the butter, um, the garlic. We also use cream in the thick soup. Um, and also mushroom, diba? Cornstarch as a thickening ingredient. Egg. And uh, the garnishes. So, slices like the, the mirepoix, also the lemon, egg, shredded vegetables, and lastly, the water. Importante yun ang tubig sa sabaw, di ba? Mag yun na yun na yun ang sabaw, ana. Magkabida sa sabaw ang tubig. Sauces. Sauce is a flavored liquid, usually thick. That is used to season flavored and enhance other food. So it adds a uh, moistness, flavor, richness, appearance, the color and shine, appeal, di ba ang iyang appeal? So variation of sauces, the variation of sauces, the hot sauce and the cold sauce. So the hot sauce may just before they are, they are to be used and the Cold sauce are cooked ahead of time. So, uh, they're being um, placed in the refrigerator to chill. So, sauce, one of the most important component of the dish. So, sauces are served as a particular function in the composition of a dish. So, this enhances the taste of the food to be served as well as it adds moisture. Diba? It adds moisture to the um, dry uh, dry cooked food. So the basic sauces, or diba, we have the mother sauces. Um, do you still remember the five mother sauces? Diba, we have the white sauce. Do you still remember that one? The veloti sauce, hollandaise, the brown sauce, or the espagnol, the tomato sauce. So those are the mother sauces. So, again, the variety of hot and cold sauce are prepared from classical to contemporary recipe based on the required menu. So, okay, canopies. So, the composition of a canopy consists of a base, diba? Na asia base, um, like for example, a bread. So, in Cook Your Assessment, we use the bread as the as a base next one is the spread so a main item and also a garnish so the spread is a second um part of a canopy so it's traditionally either a compound butter made by creaming butter with other ingredients so such as ham or lobster or a flavored cream cheese Mayonnaise, diba? We use those things on a spread. Not just on canopy, but also in the other food. Last one, we have the garnishes. So, 
Garnish can range from finely chopped vegetables, scallion, and herbs like caviar, diba? But we cannot afford caviar here in in our place in um, Kandihay, diba? Mahal ka ayo ang caviar. So caviar, um, most rich people eat caviar as a appetizer and the truffle oil. So, we all know that a canopy is a bite-sized food. So, again, gagmay yun na siya. In the assessment center, we use, um, most likely, they are using fita. Or, di ba, sir, uh, di ba, lingi na siya gamay, ang fita. So, they use fita and then put a um, spread and then the garnishes. Uh, most likely, they use, um, they can use uh, chopped vegetable, meat, and etc. The shrimp also. So, canopies, so course, they are considered as a horse devour. So, place of origin, it is, uh, it is originated in France. So, main in region. So, again, we have the base, um, cracker, bread, toast, or puff pastry. So, again, in the assessment center, they, uh, uh, they are using a cracker. Um, the toppings or the garnish, so savory butters, spread, or paste so canopy garnish um some open face sandwich so again a canopy is considered as a open face sandwich require details garnish to make them visually appealing diba so ang garnish naghatag na siya og kanang um gana or diba the policy of the i eat first so the garnish add um appeal to the eye so that the person would like to eat the appetizer or the canopy. So garnish will not hide a poorly made sandwich. So some includes a fresh herb like um, parsley, basil, and etc. Let's proceed to sandwiches. So again, we have the contemporary and the open face sandwich. So, a sandwich is a food typically consisting, uh, consisting of vegetables, sliced cheese, or meat placed on or before slice of bread or more generally any dish wherein the bread served as a container or wrapper for another food type. So, when we say open face, it doesn't have a cover or a, another set of um, sliced bread. So it doesn't have, a, it's like a um, canopy, but um, the size of it is um, a square uh, using a sliced bread. In the assessment center. So sandwiches, main ingredients, the bread, meat, cheese, salad, vegetables, sauce, or savory spread. Sandwich filling bound salad include protein-based salad like, for example, um, the ham, tuna, and chicken. So, magin na siya madali-dali sa sandwich, di ba? Sa fish, the tuna. Okay, sa meat, we have the ham. And for poultry, the chicken. Consists of a finely chopped main ingredient mixed with a thick dressing and various flavoring like the mayonnaise, celery, Carrots and onions, um, some other, they're using um, lettuce. And also, um, beware that the size of a sandwich, um, in contemporary, it should be 150 grams to 200 grams. And in the open face, it should be 120 to 150 grams. And also, in um, just a short reminder on the canopy, it should be um, four to five um, pieces. Okay, prepare appetizers. So, an appetizer, also known as an horse devour, is a small dish served before a meal. Some appetizers are served cold, others are hot. So, again, 
in uh, assessment center, um, you need to, uh, we need to pick or the assessor would let us, um, um, what do we call that one? Mubunuta. And then if makabunuta o kuan ay papel na nakasuwat at to hot appetizer. So we need to cook a hot appetizer. And then if we um, we selected the cold, so we need to cook the cold appetizer. So only one anang appetizer. So people eat with their eyes, right? Diba kabaluman taanang, ibalik-balik na ko na I eat first. So in um, in our subject, we used to uh, said that Dapat nindot yun ang imong presentation para si ma'am o si sir ganahan sa imuhang giluto. Kay, para ganahan sila mukaon sa imuhang giluto. So, maagid na siya. And also, in presenting them, like adding some garnish, di ba? Para nindot siya, ganahan ta mukaon, dapat na apod siya ay um, beautification in presenting the food. And also, um, appetizers, they can be served as a meal or they may be served before sitting. So, I love the idea of having multiple appetizer out for guests to choose. So, in assessment or in um, cookery in situ assessment, we are using three to five pieces. Bite size, we have to see Salad and dressings. A salad is a mixture of raw or cooked vegetables and other are ready-to-eat food, usually served with dressings. Salad can be appetizer, entries, side dish, and even dessert. Salad made with fresh ingredient and minimal or a small amount of fat are heartful food choices. So salads can be made with food from all of food groups. Salads come in sweet and savory varieties and can feature vegetables, fruits, grains, and protein food. And beware, uh, beware everyone that when we cook um, salad, it's, uh, we need to select the leafy or the non-leafy. And when we choose uh, leafy, the uh, most of the content or the prime ingredient should be the um, leaf, diba? And the grams of it should be 80 to 100 grams. And if we choose the non-leafy, we can use, um, like for example, we can use uh, pepino, we can use tomato, oranges, and uh, you should have, you should um, consider the grams, which is 120 to 150 grams. Medyo bugat yud ang non-leafy. So the dressing may contain oil from the oil groups or dairy ingredients from the dairy group. And also guys, we need to bear in mind that in um, cooking or in dealing with salad, make sure that it is um, again clean and should be stored properly. Kaya dali yun na siya madaot ng dahon, especially if wala siya na store. And make sure nga dili, kung mag-store po ka sa dahon, dili siya wet, di ba? Wala po di mo frozen. So, those are the things that we need to consider in salads. The salad component, the foundation, the body, garnish, and the dressing. Salad dressing, so we have the vinaigrette, cream style or fatty creamy style, the simple dressing, lemon juices, olive oil, flavored vinegar. So um, to add taste of your salads, um, we need to add um, the salad dressing. So, so it, uh, it is uh, very important that the dressing will not contrast the taste of your salad um, neither it will um, enhance the the salad the salad itself diba? poultry and game dishes so what is poultry so we are uh, all familiar of poultry okay, mo ni kadalasan atong gikaon mo sa atong paborito right 
like for example the chicken so a poultry refers to several kind of fowl that are used as food and the term includes chicken turkey duck pigeon and the quail so as a filipino di ba we commonly um use or ato yung always gikaon ang um chicken so those are the common food that we intake in the poultry family and beware in mind guys that in meat products and also in poultry that the meat should only be um 180 to 200 grams the meat itself the raw meat so poultry includes all domestic birds suitable for food except pigeon and squab so for example sa mga kuan sa mga poultry so muna to akong gimension ganina katong chicken di ba so sa game poultry or the game dishes uh, it includes such bird and animals suitable for food as are pursued and taken in field and forest so the for example the quail the wild duck the deer the bluebird so those are the game dishes or the game poultry vegetable dishes the taste of fresh perfectly cooked vegetable is one of life great pleasure which is just as well as we all know the vegetable are an essential part of healthy diet to get the full nutrient benefit cook vegetable as lightly as you can so it is very important that we when we cook the vegetable it is a um, we call that one as a half cook diba and as soon as possible after buying them as this help to retain not only the flavor but also the valued uh, valuable nutrients so uh, when we buy vegetable make sure that it is um fresh diba Makit ano man na to, wala pa siya yung mga itom-itom or mga daot-daot. Um, and also, when we, uh, in assessment, in cookery assessment, um, vegetables should be, uh, should be uh, first, uh, um, blanch, di ba? I-blanch na to, and then, or uh, after we saute. So, that is uh, really the basic in um, the vegetable dish. Um, we need to consider uh, also that when we cook, again, we uh, we need to retain to retain the flavor of the vegetable. It should be not overcooked. Again, it should not be overcooked. And also, um, the the grams it uh, you need to follow the sixty to eighty grams weight of the vegetable. So to choose the best cooking method for a vegetable, chef uh, needs to consider the flavor the texture the color and the nutrition so um the starch or the main course and the vegetable um should be set place together so that is um what we call the um the main entry sa tua, or the main course agatong tulo ka buok katong um starch again the starch the main course or katong meat and the vegetable as a side dish so starch product starchy foods um, some examples of starchy food are the rice corn cassava uh, the, the weight and the potato so um, although these starchy food are often referred to as a carbohydrate this is a little uh, misleading uh, carbs as a carbohydrates so um, it includes both starch and sugar but also with fiber so when we say starch dilira na siya ingon nga um, puro carbs but also it has a fiber and also in the in cookie assessment um Bear in your mind that kasigaran yun at to is um, they are using um, potato, so different kinds of cooking sa potato, and also um, not just potato but um, the pasta. So the uh, pasta is part of the 
um, starchy food. Apil ang pasta dito. So, mga yun ay commonly nga gigamit sa assessment center, the pasta and the potato and also the rice. Meat. Cooking meat properly is important to kill the bacteria that can cause food poison. So, um, how to cook whole cut of meat? So, use a high temperature to seal the meat and kill any bacteria that might be on the outside. So, guwapa kayo ang meat and aon o wala gid siya gika nang gi gi hiwa hiwa og ginagmay ana do guwapa gid siya tan aon og um whole siya buo. So, one cut uh, one cut or one slice of meat. So, guwapa siya tan aon og i-prepare nga whole. Seafood dishes. The perishability of fish and shellfish demands the freshest selection of the best result. Very, uh, very fresh fish have flavor of um, grass and the seas. So, um, how to store fish and seafood? So, ocean fish generally are mild, uh, milder in flavor than their um, freshwater counterparts. So, lean fish have a milder flavor than fatty fish. And fresh uh, water uh, bottom feeder includes catfish, have stronger flavor due to their diet. So, while the white flesh fish like cod and the sole have a mild, uh, milder taste than darker colored fish. Like, for example, the tuna, which possess a more, uh, uh, more strong and meaty flavor. Uh, but but most commonly, uh, people love tuna, again because of its um flavor and its um um isug siya ka ayong nga baho nga makahatag o appeal makahatag siya o ganang appetite sa mukaon. So the strong odor often associated with fish is found in the fine ocean varieties and to a lesser extent in mollusks and the crustaceans. The dessert, the biscuit or cookies, biscuits. So from the old French word, the biscuit, um, originally meaning twice baked in Latin, also known as cookies in North America, are flattish bite size or larger short pastry generally intended to be eaten out of a hand. So biscuits can have a texture that is crispy, chewy, or so, so example includes layered bar, crispy mirang, and soft chocolate chip cookies. So on dessert, um, we have two varieties. We have the hot and also the cold dessert. And bear in mind that um, sa dessert, once sa cake, like for example sa cake, it should be one slice, di ba? Gamay lang yun, tibu o kung magluto ka sa cake, one slice lang yun add to. And... Um, the size or the the weight should be 80 to 100 grams. And um, also the cakes are sweet tender bread made with sugar and delicate uh, flour. Chocolate is typically sweet, usually brown. Food preparation, diba? like uh, we use the cacao, the cacao seed, roasted, ground, and often flavored um, the deep fried dessert. So what are the deep fried Dessert. So, like for example, the donut, diba? that is a deep fried dessert. Package prepared food. Factors in plating dish are appeal, color, and contrast. Temperature of food and services, equipment, classical, and innovative arrangement style. So, um, in preparing food, um, Make sure that it is very appealing to the eyes of um, the person who will eat the the certain food. And also, as you can see in the um, right side of your um, video, in your screen, um, that is the entry of the um, presentation of the vegetable, the protein, and the starch. And bear in mind that in presenting all of those food, um, we need to 
encourage everyone to be creative. Um, we need to add garnish or the beautification. So, because um, garnish is very vital in um, in cookery. Okay, mag, mag again lagi maghatag siya og um, maghatag siya og appeal or eye catcher siya kaayo sa mukha on kung naasigay garnish. And make sure that um, your garnish is um, part of the ingredients in the food that you cook. Okay, so that's all for my discussion. I hope that you learned something. And God bless us all.